So big blue micro leak detector uh, available at True Tech Tools, uh, just like the Nylog. But what I wanted to show you here was I took out the relay for the fans. Now it's a cold day, it's only like 62 degrees outside, but you still see the fan coming on. And I wanted to disable the fans because there's an emergency high side pressure fan that will come on when the pressure gets too high. It's a second auxiliary backup. So they have another relay on another circuit. When the pressure gets really high, it'll kick on just that, that fan. So check this out. It's, that comes on 215. It's gonna go up to 270 PSI, 260 something PSI and kick on, there it goes. The fan just came on. So that's the auxiliary fan kicking in. Now I wanted to go up to like 350 PSI, but this started coming on and I forgot about that. But what I wanted to show you, remember in the other videos, that was a, a vacuum leak right there. And then I showed you in the next video, I put Nylog on it and I stopped the vacuum leak just by applying the Nylog on the outside. side, it stopped leaking. Now, as I filled this up, because I filled the system up because I wanted to check the electrical and uh, the operation of the clutch, the operation of the compressor, make sure everything is there because I already condemned the expansion valve leaking, I already condemned the condenser leaking, and I already condemned the O-rings, that, that was a big leak right there. I could pick up with a refrigerant leak detector and, and bubbles uh, under pressure. When I was filling this up, refrigerant was just gushing out of there, making a big foam with the oil and everything. It was literally gushing out. I was putting it in and it was turning into a big bubbly thing. Once I turned it on and the pressure and the temperature went up, the leak stopped. You could see where my refrigerant leak, uh, my dye came out. Check that out. You see all that? That was a big leak. But now it stopped. And look at this. Let's get that out of the way. Let's get in there. Let's see if we can focus. Come on, focus, focus. Come on, focus. You can see how hot it is. It's almost boiling. It's really hot. Because it's going up to 270 PSI. Oh, where's the bubble? The leak has stopped, 100% stopped. Because of the high temperature, the high pressure, the refrigerant and the oil has pushed into the leak around the O-ring and has become malleable with the oil film and stopped the leak under this temperature and pressure combination. I don't care how hard you try to find this leak right now, it will, you will not find that leak other than if there was evidence of an oil residue. But that's a big leak right there. Customer would go home, turn off the car, the metal would get cold, the oil ring would get cold, and all the refrigerant would come out and the next day there'd be no more refrigerant in the system. A customer would be calling back as a comeback, not happy with you. Just to let you know, no matter what you do under certain special, cer certain conditions, there's leaks that do not leak all the time. This goes with hot, this goes with cold, vibration, pressure, all these different combinations. All right, guys, I'll see you out. But uh, True Tech Tools, True Tech Tools, True Tech Tools, True Tech Tools, True Tech Tools. Uh, oh, my offer code, L-E-C-H-A-I-R, gets you 8% off at everything at True Tech Tools. See you guys later.